Well, howdy, y'all. It's your buddy, the Texan Detector. Hope y'all are having a great day. I've had a long one. I've done uh, two vehicle inspections, two vehicle registrations, one title change, and I got one detecting wagon in the shop. But hey, that wasn't going to stop me on this beautiful day to doing a little bit of detecting. I don't know what I'm going to find. It's already like 3.30, but hey, I'm going to go dig a few holes. I'm going to take y'all with me. I might find a bottle cap. I might find a gold ring. Who knows? But we're going to do it together, so let's go have some fun. All right, until the first hole. I got my first find it is a hair band <laughs> oh well kind of interesting it's almost jewelry right uh, I'll put it in the pocket we'll keep all rocking let's see what we can find on this short little hunt today yes sir let's go have some fun the second find of the day is this old school pool tab from the 70s uh, hey uh, it's gonna be a short hunt so I'm gonna show y'all a lot of a lot of everything I dig so let's go dig some more let's go have some fun I'm literally right here by the car so let's go have some fun and dig some more holes well we got our first coin Woohoo! got us a memorial penny I think it's a zinker uh, it rang up like a 68 65 so pretty sure it's a zinker but hey I'll take a coin. Let's keep on keeping on. It's going to be a short hunt today. The sun is getting low already. I was going to hunt by the basketball court, but there's like a million and one cars and a school bus over there. I don't know what they're doing, but I figured I'd stay out their way and come hit this little baseball field. But a nice little place to hit. I figured, why not, right? All right, on to the next one. Well, I had a real trashy signal because there was some trash in the hole, but it is my second coin. Yes, sir. This goes to show you got to dig them iffy signals. A uh, little piece of aluminum over there made this signal all kinds of jumpy, but hey, I decided to dig it, and I got me a coin, so I'm happy, happy, happy. Let's keep on keeping on. Yes, sir. Well, I got my first dime over here behind the dugout. It was kind of deep, even though it's a 2000. It is, let's see, I would say about seven inches deep. <laughs> it's funny, I'll find a 2000 dime seven inches deep, then I'll find a, you know, 35 wheat cent, you know, six inches deep. It, it just doesn't make any sense, but hey, that's metal detecting. Let's go have some fun. Let's dig some more holes. I'm glad to get off the penny schneid. At least I got me a dime, which is ten times better than a penny. Let's keep on, keep it on. Let's see if we can find some more goodies. Yes, sir. Well, I had an iffy signal. A high tone and a low tone and a mid tone. And I decided to dig it. And uh, for one, I got this memorial penny. And for two, I got this little uh, toy motorcycle wheel, I guess. Uh, there's still more tones in the plug. So uh, stay tuned, maybe the rest of the motorcycle's there, who knows? But hey, that's pretty cool, I like finding toys, and that is nifty. So I'm happy, happy, happy. We're going to throw that in the pocket. We're going to see what's else in the plug. If there's something good, I will show you. If not, on to the next hole, yes sir. 
Well, unfortunately, no more, no more pieces of the motorcycle, but I did find these two pieces of metal wire and this uh, screwdriver without a handle. That's kind of interesting. All right, let's keep on keeping on and on to the next one. Yes, sir. Okay, so apparently there was a penny in that hole. I found me a pool tab. No wonder the the signal was kind of scratchy. I had to do the little wiggle, wiggle, wiggle with the SB24 to get the signal in the first place. So that makes sense. All right, got another coin in the pocket. I will take it. Now, what we need is a nickel, a quarter, and a piece of bling to complete the park board. And I'm definitely going to make a park board one of these days. But it's got to have a Texas flag on it somewhere for your boy to text and detect you. Yes, sir. All right. On to the next one. Okay. I believe I have a zinc penny in that plug right there. Should be right around here somewhere. Uh-oh. Is that it? No. There we go. I knew it was in there. Had to have a little fun with a, a live dig, even though it's just a penny. We have we we happy to dig pennies. Um, this little short hunt. Let's keep on keeping on and see if we can find some more goodies. Yes, sir. Well, I got a hot zone right here in this plug. Oh. Well, was not what I was expecting. I expected a dime, but I will take a 1981 copper penny. See how clean that copper penny wipes off compared to what these uh, zinc pennies wipe off? Just freaking lovely. All right, let's keep going on to the next one, y'all. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I found my first quarter. Yes, sir. <laughs> Last time I checked, you might want to check my math because I went to school in Dayton. But uh, a quarter is 25 times better than a penny. <laughs> yes, sir. I will put it in a pocket. I will keep on rocking. I almost did this dig live, but there's a there was a piece of wire in this uh, plug as well. So uh, it, it was kind of scratchy, so I wasn't sure. But hey, dig them scratchy signals. All right, on to the next one. Yes, sir. Well, I thought I was going to have a dime right by here behind the uh, bleachers. But instead, it's a 1970 penny. Yes, sir. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, the older, the better. That's the oldest coin of the day so far. Let's keep on keeping on. I just love how nice the uh, old copper pennies wipe off and the uh, clad zinkers just look like crap so let's find more of the old coppers yes sir all right on to the next one isn't that pretty well i got me another 70s penny got me a 1973 that's a good sign let's keep on keeping on maybe there's some goodies out here for me yet maybe there's a silver maybe there's a weedy who knows maybe there's a war nickel let's keep on keep it on well, I got me a dime digging under these bleachers. It's paying off so far. I'm going to keep on keeping on. I got me another high signal over there. Maybe it's another dime. It's a little deeper. Maybe it's a dime. Who knows? Let's keep on keeping on. Well, my pinpointer's going crazy here, but I got me another signal in the hole. We're going to keep on keeping on because I think it's another dime. Let's see what we got here. The other dime, which is barely under the surface, maybe this will be a little bit older. Who knows? Oh. Uh-oh. I sainted it. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got a copper penny, I guess. Uh-oh. <laughs> Look at there. If I can get my camera to mount to bend here. I got a wheat scent. What do we got? Is that... 1935? <laughs> Look at that, baby! 
week. Damn, I shouldn't have rode it quite so hard. I kind of scuffed her up, but I'll take it. 1935 under the bleachers here. Let's keep on keeping on. I've been working around with my detector under. Uh, see, let me show where I'm at. I'm under the bleachers. I'm kind of using my detector. And then I kind of use my pinpointer after that. So, hey, I got me a wheat scent on the board. Let's keep on keeping on. That right there just made the hunt. If I wouldn't have rubbed it so damn hard. <laughs> I got to see the date, though. All right, on to the next one, y'all. Well, I did find one more coin under this set of bleachers. Unfortunately, this is like a modern zinker. But, hey. I will take it. I got a dime, a weedy, and a regular penny under this bleacher. Uh, there's two more bleachers. I might hit them too. Uh, all right, y'all. Let's keep on keeping on. It's starting to get a little dark, so I may not be able to take too much longer. But we're going to go as long as we can go. So let's go have some fun, y'all. Hey, y'all. Your guess is as good as mine. I have no idea. It rang up like a penny. Pretty strange. But, uh... Maybe some kind of button or snap. Who knows? I'm going to put it in the pocket. We're going to keep on rocking and let's see what else we can find. Yes, sir. Now that is an accomplishment right there. To sniff out that quarter. Right next to that concrete with the rebar in it. And these aluminum <laughs> uh, bleachers here. That just shows you the SP24 coil can really snoop through some junk to find some treasure. Now I'm debating if I want to stay here. There's a pocket park I've never hit that's not far from here. And consider, and let me show you something. See all them people out there where I had planned on detecting? Hold on, let me get down you can see. You see them all? I don't know what they're here for. All I know is I want to hit that later. But right now, I want to get the heck away. All right, well, let's go on to the next one. I'm not sure if I'm going to stay here. I'm going to go to that other park. Stay tuned. Well, y'all. I mean, I got targets all around here, but right there. See that little wiggle? I got a dime signal. The last 74 I had, I think, was that wheat scent. So... Let's, for uh, science, let's dig this together and see what we can find. Uh-oh. Well, it shows in the plug, but it shows at a 55. <laughs> so I'm thinking more of a penny now. Let me check the hole. Uh oh, there we go. Well, shucks. Just a modern memorial penny. What does the EA say? A library. <laughs> I'll take it though. I'll take it. Might be one of the last targets this hunt because I'm getting tired. The sun's getting low, and your boy, the Texan, has got to go. <laughs> All right, so on to the next one, or very possibly on to the wrap up. Well, I think I see why I thought that dime was, I mean, that penny was a dime. This was also in the hole. It is a wheel off of something. I don't know what. I thought it was a button at first, but that looks like it's going to be a wheel. That's pretty cool, though. I did find, that's one of my first targets. I found a, a wheel and a penny, and then I, hey, I might just be in it on a wheel and a penny. The irony. All right, y'all, well, let me put this wheel in the pocket with the other one. And let's keep on keeping on. I will check the hole, see if there's any more of this uh, toy vehicle in the hole. All right. On to the next one, or on to the wrap-up. Well, I was able to get one more dime. Kind of destroyed. I don't know if that's mower modified or pellet gun modified or what happened there, but it is definitely some uh, taco bunny. <laughs> I'll take it. I can always put it in my vice and flatten it if I want to. I think it's kind of cool like that. We'll put it in the pocket. We'll keep on rocking. And let's see if we can find anything else before your boy's got to go. Well, I got me another copper penny. Got me a 1982. Looks like the... I think that's the large date. Hard to tell. But anyway, I got me a copper penny. Let's stick it in the pocket. Let's keep on keeping on. 
Well, yes, sir. Got me one more copper penny on the board, 1967. As you can tell, this is kind of the wetter side of the park. It's kind of a little worse for wear compared to the other ones I was getting over there by the bleachers where it was kind of dry. But, hey, I will take it, take it, take it all day of the week. Let's put it in the pocket. And on to the next one. Yes. Sir. Well, I had a real fun hunt. Um, as you saw, I got a late start, so it was kind of a short hunt. But man, it was a fun hunt nonetheless. It's a, any day you get out and uh, dig some holes, it's a good day. So, let's get to the lecture at hand. What did your boy come back with in his sack? Well, let's see. Um, I didn't really find a whole bunch of doodads and whatchamacallits. Uh, I did find these two wheels, which I thought were really cool. Um, I got to thinking, do you think that it's possible they're from the same toy? I seriously doubt it. They were quite a ways apart. Um, I found this little button thing of bobber, a pull tab. And let's get to the goody stuff. All right, I got 5, 10, 15, 20 pennies. Man, that's a lot of holes for that short hunt. Uh, four dimes, four quarters. And the star find of the day show is this beautiful 1935 Philadelphia wheat penny. Now, funny thing about that. Two things I noticed when I was editing this video. One, did I speak that into existence? Because I was talking about finding a modern dime at 8 inches and then a 35 wheat penny at 6 inches. And um, I found a wheat penny. Kind of creepy. Um, it was under some bleachers. I don't think it's been there that long. But uh, anyway. And the other thing I noticed was... I thought that I scuffed it up when I rubbed it and uh, editing the video I seen when it came out I believe I scratched it with my groundhog shovel but hey uh, if I wouldn't have scratched it and got it out the ground it'd still be there and it'd be there for uh, me to find next time <laughs> well anyway I sure am glad y'all came along with me it's your buddy the Texan detector until next time Happy hunting and stay dirty, my friends.